Hi everybody, this is a review of the XTEC Electrical Test Kit and it contains the following items. It contains the uh, model MN24 multimeter with a couple of test leads, the 9 volt battery is not included. It contains a model 40130 voltage detector for your home outlets, the uh, AAA batteries are not included for that, and also a, a model ET15 receptacle tester for your home outlets as well. And the XTEC website and customer service number is here. This unit originally comes in a blister pack, but I put all the all the components in this little uh, zipped in package that comes with the unit as well. There's the multimeter, the voltage detector, the receptacle tester, and also the uh, uh, black and red leads which are included. This is the specification for the multimeter, for the DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance, and so on, indicating the range and resolution and so on. I'll leave this up for a couple of seconds if you wanted to make a note of this, but I'll go on with other details now. The first thing is to get the multimeter out of the rubber holster because you need to put a battery in the back. So the best thing to do is to sort of peel the rubber back with your, your fingernails from the top and then push it with the palm of your, your hand to get it out of the holster. I uh, called this the customer service number to figure out how to do this because at first I thought maybe you needed to use a screwdriver or something to get it out, but that would just damage the, the holster. So the best thing to do is just to uh, use your fingers and try to pry off the top of the holster from the multimeter and just kind of work it down from there. Then once the multimeter is out, Here's the, the front view and there's the back view. The battery compartment is at the top. You just unscrew it. There's a little 9 volt battery uh, connector. You put a battery in there and put the connector and the, and the cap back on. And once the battery's in, you can go through the different settings of the multimeter. As you can see, the switch is nice and tight for each of these settings for voltage, AC, DC, resistance, and so on. So it's a, it's a pretty good little deal. Here I am setting up the multimeter on a test for a 9 volt battery, putting the leads to negative and positive, and it reads about 9.5 volts in this test. Now the next thing I'm testing is this uh, outlet voltage detector. It has a couple of AAA batteries on the inside. I'm sliding one of them out here and putting one back in and you just snap the cap back on. Okay, on this outlet voltage detector it has a little uh, button on the end where it'll either give you an alarm or not depending if you have the button in or not and if there's a voltage on the outlet. Now I'm pushing it in here and you can hear the alarm go. There we go. So it's definitely a nice little thing to detect voltage on your outlets. This outlet receptacle tester uh, detects if you have proper wiring in your outlets or not. If you do, the uh, correct wiring will be shown by a uh, middle and right amber light on and the red light on the left will be off as shown by the picture here. Otherwise you have different error conditions as shown here as well. Here from this view you can see the uh, center and right amber light and the red light on the left. And as you can see here, the two amber lights are on, so everything is fine as far as the outlet's concerned. So all in all, this is a pretty good deal. As I indicated before, earlier in the video, I bought this for about $20 over at Sears. They were having a great discount for this. And it was almost too good a deal to pass up, because I figured I could use some of these functions on the multimeter, at least uh, maybe a couple of times a year, for testing batteries or whatever, or making sure that an outlet doesn't have power when you turn the circuit breaker off and things like that and it's uh, pretty handy for all that. So if you're interested in trying to find this uh, you can go to Sears or one of the other outlets and uh, buy it. It's a pretty good deal so I recommend it.